Hello and welcome to Prime Vehicle Sales and our unique opportunity 2005 Bentley Continental GT. We're just doing a short video to give you some in an introduction and background on the car prior to doing some images and a video walk around and a test drive that we'll do as well for you to, to look at. Um, it's a unique opportunity because it's a one owner car with only 13,000 miles on the clock. It's been locally owned, we know the owner and the pedigree and history of the car from day one. As I said, it's only done 13,000 miles, which is pretty rare on a car of this age um, and only being one owner as well. It was supplied by Bentley Hadley Green and they carried out the maintenance and servicing on the car up until 2010, uh, which is when the last service we have recorded for it was, was carried out at, I think, approximately 9,000 miles. We've got lots of paperwork, lots of history for the car in terms of the early stages of its life. And we've got all the original book pack and handbooks and presentation packs that came with it as well. It's, um, it's a beautiful car. It's totally original right down to the tyres. It's got the original tyres, date stamp 2004 on it. Uh, it's effectively unmarked, it's totally original. The interior is, as you will see from the photos and the videos, absolutely immaculate. I don't think the rear seats have ever even been sat in. Um, I can wax lyrical about the car all day long. It is a beautiful car, but it does need an element of recommissioning. Uh, it will need new tyres. The tight pressure monitors also will need some replacement and it will need some going over in terms of servicing and everything else. Now that is something that we could assist with um, in terms of a recommission, but we felt that it was best to offer the car exactly as it is, exactly as it's coming to us, to give a future owner the opportunity to make a decision as to what they wish to do with it. So I'll leave my little bit at that. We'll do a bit of a walk around on it and we'll do a bit of a test drive and there'll be lots of images also available. But if there are any questions that you have relating to the car or its history or anything else, then please do feel free to contact us at any time. So I'll give you just a quick walk round of the car. It is in lovely condition, as you would expect, even given its age the mileage is nothing on it the interior is almost as new driver's seat shows some evidence of it being sat in but generally it is in lovely order the only warning light we have currently on it is the tire pressure warning which is I'm advised down to the batteries being worn in the sensors, which will need to be replaced. Everything else, as far as we can ascertain, is complete with it, apart from the mobile phone element of the in-car phone system. The privacy handset is with it. All the other features and functions on the car, as I say, as far as I can ascertain, all seem to be working. Radio's all good. Navigation is all there. Uh, you can see all the wood and the veneer is unmarked. Lovely Breitling clock as well with it. And in the dashboard in the glove box, we've got the CD multi-changer and the navigation disc. There's all the various other disc for maps on the nav and the handbook pack we've got some other paperwork in the office which i will image to go onto the website but just showing you the rest of the interior and the seats you can see they are lovely and the rear seats are unmarked unused again everything's all intact it's all there with it. Put that back. So all the wheels are immaculate, not a mark on them. It's got the original Pirelli P0 tires on it, which whilst they've got tremendous amounts of tread still on them, will need to be replaced because they are, as you can appreciate, 
past their best. In the boots, everything's there with it. You've got your warning triangle. It has also the optimizer, which plugs into a little socket just in there. It's also got a car cover that was with it and the Bentley embossed litre of oil container. That's closing the boots. And again, just walking around it, there is a small little mark that you can see when you get in close, which I'll show you there, just on the edge of the driver's door, which probably with a good detail it will flatten polish out. But other than that, it's it's in lovely condition, in great order, and there's not a dent or a mark on it really. Um, we've left the car exactly as it came into us. We haven't cleaned it, we've done nothing with it. This is exactly how it came. It was stored in the owner's heated garage, which he's had in that situation from day one. So it's been very, very well looked after in that respect. Um, but I'll leave you now to look at the images, read this description, and as I say, if there's any further questions, then please do contact us. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, we'll just, the final part of the video that we're doing for the car for you, we're just giving it a little test drive. It drives superbly, as you would expect for a Bentley. We've been privileged enough to have a couple of these in the past, and every single one of them, no matter what the age of them is, drives superbly. And this is no exception. As I said in my video earlier, um, it will need replacement tyres on it. They are quite brittle, and you can feel that in the ride. But for overall, it drives superbly, the gearbox is nice and smooth, everything is spot on with it. It's a bit bouncy, because we're on a bit of a bouncy road, but the suspension all works perfectly. I've included some images of the uh, option to raise and lower the suspension, which you can clearly see is working. So the suspension is fully functioning. Everything's working on the car. The only warning light that we're getting is the tire pressure monitor light, which as I said again, is just due to the batteries running out and that will need to be replaced. As I have said, it will need a recommission. It'll need a full front to back going over all the oils, filters and so forth, tires and, and everything else. We do have a very, very, very good local Bentley and Rolls Royce specialists called Colebrook. They're in the next village to us. Uh, we have a relationship with them in terms of previous cars that uh, we know that they've maintained and looked after very, very well. So there is the option if the desire to commission it to bring it back up and run it on the road. It's there, they, they would happily take that job on. Uh, but by virtue of the fact that it is what it is, you may wish to keep it exactly as it is and, and and not do anything with it, which hence the reason why we've left the car exactly as it is to give the future purchaser the opportunity to make that decision. So there we go, sensors are working as well. I've put as much information in the video, probably I've taken too long on the video really, but I'm, I'm just trying to get across how much of a genuine car this is and what an one opportunity one-off opportunity this is really is 13,800 miles on the clock I'm reading it now it's a superb car and I don't think you're ever going to find anything like it and I'd love to keep it but that's uh, not an option for us so if there is anything you'd like to know about the car its history anything at all then please do feel free to contact us at any time